And hello, YouTube. It's me, 8675309858 for Chase Reese number 5 here at Texas. On the pole is Seth Cole. Second is Zach Hoffenleiter. Fourth, John Dillon. Third, Eugene DeMax. Uh, fifth, that's Aaron Williams. Sixth, Michael Walton. Seventh, Jake Williams. Eighth, Mike Newman. Ninth, Aaron Burns. That's a Chase Leiter. And tenth is Trevor Jackson. I'll give you the rest of your starting lineup. That was a look at your starting lineup. Seth Cole's on the poll. We want to mention a couple things real quickly. We do have a hometown hero. It's going to be one for both races. But uh, and that driver is the number one of Gene Silverfox this race. He is going to be racing at, at Texas, and I believe he'll be making his debut in the 13 next race, replacing Anna Gregg. Um, can't wait for that. It should be interesting there. And the second thing I want to mention real quickly is the drivers are going to get ready to go on by right now. Well, actually, there's two other things I should be mentioning. Uh, number one, we were supposed to go to the revamped Texas, but a couple things fucked up it, and uh, I don't know why. Like, the whole back here wouldn't even be catching up to the front. It'd be, like, so behind off after turn three. And then, secondly, you know, if there was a car that, like, broke down or something, it'd, like, fuck up the track and stuff, and the cars wouldn't, like, roll off. So, we're going to this Texas, and I'm sorry for that, but, you know, what can you do? And the third thing... They are keeping an eye on the wrecks here because, well, remember last season, there were a few drivers that took some wild rides, so they're going to keep an eye on the safety of the cars here. So we'll see how that will go. As the green flag is out, Seth Cole leads us down. Seth Cole taking a good start. Here comes Eugene Demax. This guy really wants to beat Silver Fox. Pass him the, in the standings, and he somewhat clips Seth Cole. He's got a good run. He's on all over Zach. Or Seth Cole's bumper, and oh, John Dillon, and there goes Mike Walton, and Eric Burton gets a piece, he keeps going, Carpenter, Schultz, oh god, oh, right in front of the pack, and holy shit, major wrecking, Austin Oga, Luke Walker, Justin Talbass, chaser, Alan Smith, Sam D, another chaser, Silver Fox, the points leader in the hometown hero, and the chaser involved. Oh, no. Walton. Ogo is out of the race. He's smoking. Carpenter. Wells. Dylan. We saw him go around first. Jones. Talent pass. Sosnowski. Stephen Dillon. Luke Walker. Gardner. Schultz. About half the field just got taken out. Oh, Leah Walker got a piece of it as well as Cody Lavis. Eric Burton has a little piece of it. I don't know how much that's going to affect him. Josh Heath, Joseph Bryan, another chaser. Oh, no. Heath's going to come back out. I don't know about Joseph Bryan. This doesn't look good for him. Looks like Silver Fox. He's got a little bit of damage, but it's not really going to affect him. He looks, he's staying out. But Oh, man. oh Gardner did get a piece of it, just for hearing. Yeah, he's got a little bit of front-end damage there. Keep an eye on, like, town pass real quickly, and, uh, you know. Him, Alan Smith, Steven, or Sam D, excuse me, they're still on pit road. Luke Walker still on pit road, Eric Burton. Oh, my God, that took out a big chunk of the field. So we're under the caution for the first time today. Seth Coley is down, trying to look for his second win of the season. Let's take it back to see what happened. Bring ourselves the first caution of the race. We're back. Yeah, there was a few instances there. Uh, Luke Walker on the Steven Dillon and the Ogo and the Silver Fox. There goes Silver Fox. He's just going to get taken out because that just gets a slight piece there. And then he's just going to go around. And then Anthony Everett Kostanowski had a little bit of contact there. There were three, like, three different incidents that took place. And then everyone's freaking out here. And then there's John Dillon. Uh, and then there's Walton Eric Burton. Yeah, Burton just gets a slight piece there. He's going to get another piece of the wreck from Michael Walton. There's Carpenter. He just had nowhere to go after all this. There's the piece Eric Burton's going to get right there. Will Schultz is going to be there. Oh, Joseph Ryan just ran right into him. And Leah Walker's going to get a piece of it. Runs right into Will Schultz. Just nowhere to go. Schultz is going to get another piece slammed into the wall there. And then, uh-oh, here comes a pack. Joseph Ryan not in a good spot. Ogo just gets in the bright. Alex Jones. Sosnowski. Look at Luke Walker. Someone make his way through unless he hit uh, Schultz there. 
Nicholas Guerra. Oh, takes a good hit there. Sam B. Tylen Pass, Alan Smith. Danny Wells, Johnny Gardner. Oh, my God. Jason Matchmore. There's just a whole bunch of cards there. Look at Poteet making his way through as well as Tyler Everest and Cody Lamas work their way through. Heat makes his way through. And, oh, boy. Just, there's Walton, John Dillon, Carpenter. There's Silver Fox. And that was not good. That took a whole chunk of the field. So the main chasers involved are Silver Fox. Oh, Walton just gives another piece of Waller. Uh, Joseph Bryant, Sam D., Alan Smith, Justin Talpass, Austin Ogo. Luke Walker, and that's about it. And then Cody Lawless has somewhat of front-end damage there, but we're under the caution for the first time today. Seth Cole leads us down. See you back to the green. Welcome back. Is the pace car lights are off? The uh, are the lights off the pace car? Excuse me. There are a lot of drivers out of the race, including some well-known chasers. Uh, let's give you the full field who's out of the race. Nicholas Guerra, Austin Ogo, Joseph Bryant, Michael Walt, Jacob Lawler, Danny Wells, Alex Jones, Kyle Sosnowski, and Stephen Dillon are all out of the race. Tough break for Austin Ogo and Joseph Bryant, especially Joseph Bryant who's up there in points. And Ogo's been somewhere in the middle of the points, so Ogo's going to get one, Joseph Bryant's going to get two. That's just not good there. Then you see a few notable chasers that are in the back there. Alan Smith. Uh, Sam D, Luke Walker, Eric Burton, Justin Talbess, and even J and they all got damp repairs to their cars. So Seth Cole leads us down. Eugene Max second. Eric Williams third. Zach Hoffschneider fourth. Jake Williams fifth. J Trevor Jackson sixth. Noah Hart seventh. Mike Newman eighth. Dylan Lovett ninth. And Lindsey Johnson leads the top ten. 11 through 23rd, Charles Jackson, Sean Gallagher, Dom Capps, Dylan Young, Anthony Emery, Cody Lamas, Luke Walker, Tyler Evers, Rod Houston, Jackson Emery, and then 21st through 25th, Dylan Poti, William Schultz, Jason Matchmore, James Sorfox, and Johnny Gardner. And then I guess the rest of the top 30 are Justin Talpass, Eric Byrne, Luke Walker, John Dillon, and Josh Heath. That is a green flag. So, and Sorfox, let's see how many people are ahead of him. One, two. Three, four, five, six, six spot or five spots in between Demax and Silver Fox. Now just be for Demax if he gets the extra two bonus points. He's got the fourteen. Whoa, Hoffschneider and Jake Williams make a little bit of contact, and now Williams is going to try to use the high side to keep his third spot, and he's going to take third at the stripe. And he's going to keep his third spot. How about Hofschneider having a great run there in the 33? He's been having a struggling season. He'd really love a win right there. Oh, Trevor Jackson, Noah Hart almost got into, a, into each other there. And so far, it's been clean right now. They're, they're passing each other, but they're not, like, freaking out-wise. There's Pote. This guy really needs a good finish of the chase spots. He really needs it. You know, he's passing non-chases right now, like Galligan, and he's going to try to pass uh, Jackson Emery in a little bit. Or actually, this is good. He's catching up to Cody Longs right now. This guy really needs a good one, uh, good run right now. According to our uh, point system right now, which I'm getting it up right now, he's at the bottom of the points. Talent pass, um, Lamas, and even Aaron Williams. They really need good runs. And Aaron Williams having that perfect run right now. He... If he would be able to finish right now where he's at, he'd get 14 points as he passed a max. This is huge. I'll tell you one thing. Look at our points leader as he passed uh, Cody Lamas, uh, Dylan Pote, and now Tyler Everest has done that. Look at Silver Fox with a little bit of back end damage. He is still hanging on. And whoa! He just got clipped by Matchmore. He hits the wall, but he keeps going. Oh boy, he just got a little bit more damage. He was 21st at the time, he was making a good run. The 09, I don't know what that was about, but that was uncalled for. And that one cart, wait, where is he at? Here he is. Yeah, he just had back end damage. Now he's got a little bit of side damage. Now Eric Burns going to try to pass him. This is big for Eric Burns. He really needs to pass that one car so that way he just can somewhat catch up. Here's a non-chaser that's helping him up there. That's Willem Schultz, who's a chaser, though, in the NRSL Universe Orlando Cup Series. So close call there for Silver Fox. He almost got taken out there. 
by Jason Matchmore, and that would have been a tough blow to the Texas native there. In the cup race, we will have a debut of Trent, well, not the debut, but, well, the debut of Silver Fox and the hope of, and return of hometown hero Trent Dunn as he wants some redemption here at Texas. There's Silver Fox, he's falling back spots, he's now 25th on the track. However, these aren't chase spots he's losing. The next chaser there is Sam D and then Luke Walker. There's Calipas, and then there's uh, Alan Smith, and then, uh, yeah, there's the rest. There's Seth Cole still leading, looking for his second win of the season. Really wants some redemption. He really wanted to win at Michigan for both series. Couldn't do it. And uh, Aaron Williams in second. And how about Zach Hofschneider in third place? The double 33, the double three there, 33 in the Oreo car. He's doing really, really good. He's staying on the bumper of Aaron Williams. Here's another driver having a good run here. How about Jake Williams in the 88? He's just really begging for a win. He's just trying to get it. Can't get the job done. Now, Dilton Love is going to take the top five from Eugene DeMax, but this isn't a chase spot, so that's a good thing for DeMax. So he would have 13 right now. Uh, seventh is Charles Jackson. Uh, he's the nationwide one having a great run once again. Eighth is Trevor Jackson. Ninth, Noah Hart. And how about Mike Newman in the top ten having a great run? But look who's coming, that Brad K, number 22, Dylan Posey in the Dodge Challenger. Don't forget, after next season, when we head into the 2013 um, mod there for Nationwide, there'll be no more Dodges. So do imagine if Dodge will get one last victory there. And someone blew up as Jackson Emery. Oh, that 30 team. Oh, look out. Look out. And Oh, my God. Surfbox, yeah, he's lost spots to um, Luke Walker and even to Sam D. He might lose one to Talent Pass. Yeah, that car's damaged badly there. Emery is going to be slow, and is he's going to stop on turn one. No caution because he's on the apron. So, Meanwhile, Seth Cole, he's got at least a good advantage over Josh Heap. He might catch up to him. But look at this. Aaron Williams, Zach Hoffman, Josh Heap. Or, wow, I failed. Seth Cole, Aaron Williams, Jake Williams, and Zach Hoffman. They're all catching up to uh, the slower car, Josh Heap, there. Seth Cole's got a good advantage over uh, Aaron Williams and Jake Williams, who are unrelated, by the way. They're still in love at Eugene and Max. They're catching up there. And Charles, look, they're all single file mostly right here, except for where it's a non chase spot there, but it's, well, non chasers here. It's Galligan and Rod Houston, which I believe, yeah, this is for the 17 spot, and Galligan's going to take that. Here's Eric Burton in the three in the Avocare Chevrolet as he passed Emery there, and now. Uh, Emery's falling back from the non-chasers, which is all right, but hmm, what can you do? And the next chaser who could pass him could be Sam Deep, but he's on the high side. Oh, excuse me. Walker, there's Silver Fox. Man, that's just a tough break for Silver Fox. I think he's going to be pretty pissed off with uh, Jason Matchmore there. There's Tal Pass. He's trying to get some spots up there. Stuck in that 30th position. There's Alan Smith in 31st. Here's Jackson Emery. It looks like his day is over. Blown engine. And they passed Josh Heap. Wow, I did not even notice him there. And now Jake Williams and Zach Hoffschneider and Dylan Lovett are all going to pass him. As now DeMax is going to pass him. Charles Jackson just the whole inside line. And Trevor Jackson just went on the outside. That was a dumb move there. That number 27 car just literally got held up by that 31. He had to hit the brake. And then Noah Hart's falling, you know, there with Trevor Jackson. So we're just going to keep it on Josh Heap right now. The next car is Mike Newman. And about for that 10th spot for the top 10 is Dylan Posey. Remember, you're a non-chaser. Getting passed by a chaser. Chaser does not get any points from passing non-chasers. So we'll see, you know, how it goes. Take a look at the flyby cams here. We're going to take a, oh, actually, I thought we were going to take a quick break, and look at this, here's another fly-by cam right here, Seth Cole, Aaron Williams, right with each other. Aaron Williams trying to look for a second win of the season. If he gets this win, this would be huge. He's in the bottom of the points. He get would get 16 points. 16 huge points. According to what we have here, yeah, he's in the bottom of the points. This would really help him. Boost himself up, and not only that, because Silver Fox, he's in 29th. He's not doing well at all. 
this would be a huge deal. We're going to look at the spectator mode here. Battle for the third spot between Jake Williams and Zach Hofschneider. It looks like Zach Hofschneider, he might get it unless Jake Williams gets a good run of four. And, oh, Hofschneider's still fighting, but nope, Jake Williams is going to hold on to that third spot. So, again, battle here, and that's Charles Jackson, Eugene to Max. Jackson wants the spot, the Max trying to hold on. And now Trevor Jackson, who's unrelated to Charles Jackson, is trying to close in on, uh, on Charles. And look at that. Dylan Poteen now is in the top ten. This is huge. Really need a good run. There's Lamas in 13th. Iverest in 14th. Stone Chasers there. Eric Burton, who's in... Oh, he lost like two spots. He's 18th now on the track. Uh, oh, Anthony Emery got held up by Josh Heap there, but he is in the, uh, well, he was 20th. And I think he's going to be 21st now unless Emery's going to get a good run there. I don't know. We'll see. And it looks like he'll be 21st. And we'll lose the spot also to Randy Carpenter unless that run's going to help him. And yes, it will be. Okay. And then Sam Dean, 25th, Luke Walker, 28th, Silver Fox, 29th, Town Pass, 30th, Alan Smith, 31st. And that is it. And here goes a battle for the lead as we got 11, or excuse me, 12 to go. Aaron Williams is going to finally try to take the lead from Seth Cole, and he will do that. Aaron Williams will lead his first lap, finally, of the race. Seth Cole has led the most laps. We're going to take a quick commercial break. And we'll come back to you as soon as possible. Stay tuned, guys. <clears throat> this race is brought to you by Dr. Pepper, 23 crisp, refreshing flavors. By the NRSL, NRSL, where racing is living. By Outback Steakhouse, home of the Australian Outback Steaks. And also by Longhorn Steaks as well, Longhorn Steakhouse. Try one of our new steaks as well, Longhorn Steakhouse. As we're back in the race here, is Aaron Williams still leading? I think we have a caution. There's a spin. We're still green, but... Smoke in the back. Uh, looks like the back stretch it was. And now Seth Cole's going to try to retake the lead. It was on three, I believe. I don't know, but... Yeah, it was on turn three. I don't know who it was. Aaron Williams still trying to hang on, trying to get 16 points. Seth Cole trying to look for his second win. Here comes Jake Williams in the 88. And Demax is now back in the fifth spot. Tom Schneider's fell back to seventh. Jackson eighth. Trevor Jackson ninth. And Dom Caps has completed the top ten. He's having a great run in number 70 there. Everest 11th. Both Mike Newman 13th. Is Jason Mashmore with all that damage. And Poteet's 14th. Rod Houston, 15th. Eric Burton, 16th. Lindsey Johnson, 17th. Uh, Sean Gallon, 18th. Cody Lombs, 19th. And 20th, Dylan Young, 21st. Anthony Emery, 22nd. Ryan Carpenter, 23rd. Leah Walker, 24th. John Dillon, 25th. Sam D, 26th. Will Schultz, 27th. Luke Walker, 28th. Johnny Gardner, 29th. Jo er, 29th. Jacob Silverfox. Josh Sheep, 32nd. Just Tom Bass, 30th. The very first, Alan Smith. And that is it. They're closing on Alan Smith. As, look, at, he is on turn for there. Aaron Williams, yeah, they're getting right there to him. Take a look in the gap there you see on the flyby. As we got a total of five, uh, five laps to go. Could be a three-car show here, but Aaron Williams trying to pull away from Seth Cole and Jake Williams. Oh, another wreck, and Mike Newman was involved in Rod Houston, and the caution's out. They're waving the yellow flag. And I think Aaron Williams in the 54 car, as there was a wreck on turn four, is going to uh, pull ahead in the caution flag, I think. Where's the pace car? He is out. There he is. Oh, man. And I think Aaron Williams has got it. I 
don't think there's going to be a green-white checkered as it looks like the cars involved are Mike Newman, Rod Houston. It's a big break for Silver Fox. He's going to gain some spots over non-chasers there, but still. Oh, boy. So we're going to look at also the other incident that happened on turn three there where you see the skid marks right there. And then we'll take a look at the caution to bring yourselves to the end of the race. Gary Williams leads us down. Take a look at ourselves the two the incident before, the caution, and then the caution of the race. All right, we're back, and uh, take a look at this. We did not even see this at all, but this was what happened on the incident on turn three. Look at this. Mike Newman not getting involved in one wreck, but two wrecks. This is the first one. Poteet's just going to hook him. He's going to hit the wall. Poteet's going to get on the high side. I'm surprised they did not call the caution for that. They should have, but I guess they, they did not spin out. That was what the deal was. And that's why Poteet lost all those spots there, lost the top 10. So it's a tough break for Poteet. And I guess he lost spots to Everest, uh, Burton. So, And we'll look at the second incident right now with Mike Newman. Well, another driver's going to hook him, and it's Rod Houston this time. I don't know what it is, but Mike Newman, this is the second time he's got clipped today. He's going to get clipped by Rod Houston, goes into Cody Lamas, and then that 81 is just going to snap wicked loose. And that 81 with Ron Houston, they're just going to go around. And there goes uh, Newman right there. He's just going to pound the wall. And he's just going to miss Rod Houston. But, oh, Carpenter. We didn't even see him get involved there. He just sideswipes a 10. And look at all these cars trying to avoid it. Look at Sam D trying to avoid it. And he does a good job. Rod Houston there. Yeah, they're all going to go in the low line there. And Oh, he just missed them. Sam D came so close to hitting Rod Houston. And then all these other cars, they're going to miss him. But Caution's out. Aaron Williams looks like he got it in the bag. Let's take you to, um, you know, the, the finish. You're on the final, right, final lap right now. So I'm eating something right now. Eric Williams is lead. I'm sorry about that. I'm mean right now. I'm just feeling hungry. Sponsor, Baker's Treat Brownies. The cheap, uh, who gives a shit? Anyway, no stuff's going to be happy with those. He's in second place right now. Jake Williams third. Fourth, Dylan Lovett. Fifth, Eugene Max. Sixth, Noah Hart. Seventh, Zach Hoffman. Eighth, Charles Jackson. Ninth, Trevor Jackson. And tenth, Tom Epps. So, Aaron got 16 points. That's huge. Third speed from the max. 12 for Everest. 11 for Posey. 10 for Eric Burton. 9 for Lamas. 8 for Anthony Emery. 7 for Luke Walker. 6 for James Silverfox, a points leader in the hometown boy. He's going to get 6 points. Five for Town Pass. Four for Mountain Smith and whoever else is out. They get their points. But Aaron Williams is going to get his second win of the season. And he will get 16 points for the win here at Texas. What a win for Aaron Williams. That is huge. Congratulations to him. I'm 8675309858. Signing off. We'll see you for the cup race here at Texas. And we'll see Trent Dunn and James Solfox. Try to see if they get the win there. I'm out. Here come the results and the, and the chase points.